best of friends, you and me, pal. The fun will never end. Hi, this is your old pal Corky talking to you. Don't you think playing outdoors is fun? Well, I sure do. Especially because there are lots of neat things to do in my neighborhood. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's go outdoors and play right now. Walking through the neighborhood And everything sure looks good There's so much to do So let's me and you go walking through the neighborhood There are playground swings And lots of fun things There's a grocery store down the street There's a park with a zoo And a library too And lots of friendly people to meet so look around your neighborhood, cause everything sure looks good. Stroll up and down, get to know your town, now and then you really should. Go walking through your neighborhood. I go outdoors every day, just as soon as I wake up. And you know why? Because I have to take my puppy for a walk. That's why. He's so funny. Even before I get dressed in the morning, he's even scratching at my door. And sometimes he's even dragging his leash behind him. Can you believe it? <laughs> well, anyway, one day I couldn't find his leash. I looked all over my room, but it just wasn't there. Sorry, puppy, I said. I can't take you for a walk today. But my puppy wouldn't listen. He kept on jumping up and down and barking and barking. Ruff, ruff, he barked. Ruff, ruff, ruff. And then he started jumping all over me. But I can take you for a walk, I said again. What if you get lost? But that puppy wouldn't give up. He kept barking and jumping until I said, Okay, come on, we'll just take a little walk. And then we'll come right back in the house. Well, that made my puppy so excited. You know what he did when we got outside? You guessed it. He started running. Wait, puppy, I shouted. Wait for me. But he didn't listen. He ran across our yard and into the neighbor's garden. And then he ran all the way down the block. By the time I got to the corner, I couldn't see him anywhere. Oh, no, I said. How am I ever going to find him now? And then I had an idea. He always comes when I sing his favorite song. If you know it, sing along. Where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his floppy ears and his shaggy hair. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? The first person to hear my song was the mail carrier. Hi, Mr. Carmichael, I said. Have you seen my little puppy? I sure have, said Mr. Carmichael. He went running down the block right past the grocery store. Gee, thanks, I said, and I went running down to the grocery store, too. But when I got there, I couldn't see my puppy anywhere. So I decided to sing my song again. Don't forget to help me out. Where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his waggly tail and his wiggly walk Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Then the lady who owned the grocery store came outside to say hello. Hi, Mrs. Chan, I said. Have you seen my little puppy? I sure have, said Mrs. Chan. He went running down the block straight for the park. Gee, thanks, I said. And I went running down to the park, too. But when I got there, I couldn't see my puppy anywhere. So I decided to sing the last part of my song. Let's do it really loud this time. Where, oh, where has my little dog gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? With his big brown eyes and his little wet nose. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Then my friend Zachary came walking by. Hi, Zach, I said. Have you seen my little puppy? I sure have, said Zach. He's over by the baseball field, and he looks like he's waiting for someone. 
is waiting for me, I shouted. And then I ran across the park to the baseball field. Sure enough, there was my little puppy sitting all by himself. So I played a joke on him. I sang my song again. My puppy was so happy to see me, he jumped right into my arms, and I didn't let go of him till we got home. I found his leash right away. <laughs> it was under my bed. See this leash, I said to my puppy? We're never, never, never going for a walk without it. And you know what that silly puppy did then? He started jumping up and down again and barking and barking. <laughs> he thought I was going to take him for another walk. And guess what? I did. When I was looking for my puppy, I met a lot of people who worked in my neighborhood. Boy, oh boy, they sure have neat jobs. See if you can guess what some of them are. I'll tell you a riddle, and you tell me the answer. Here's the first one. Rain or shine, I never fail. Every day I bring the mail. Who am I? The answer is a mail carrier. That's a person who delivers the mail. Let's try another one. With a rattle and a crash, my truck and I pick up the trash. Who am I? I hope you said a garbage collector, because that's the right answer. Now try this one. On your way to school, you meet someone who helps you cross the street. Who am I? The answer is a crossing guard. Let's try one more. Lots of people pay a fare for me to drive them here and there. Who am I? There are two answers to that one. A bus driver or a taxi driver. They're both right. Hey, what job would you like to do when you grow up? Wowee! I bet you'll be the greatest. And that's a fact. I like to go for walks outdoors. But sometimes I get tired of just plain walking. So I try walking all kinds of different ways. Would you like to try some different walks? Great! Tell you what, I'll sing a song about a silly kid going for a walk. And you see if you can walk like him. Silly Willie took a walk, in a week he went to block. That's because he only goes a walking way upon his toes. Try walking on your toes like Silly Willie. Silly Willie took a stroll, crossed the bridge and paid the toll. Oh, how Silly Willie feels, walking way down on his heels. Walk on just your heels now. Silly Willie walked about with both his feet sticking out. He forgot to bend his knees. Walk like Willie if you please. Walk with your legs straight and your toes out. Silly Willie, when he stands, his legs they bend like rubber bands. Wobbly knees and wobbly feet. There goes Willie down the street. Wobble like Willie now. In case you haven't guessed, the park is one of my favorite places, and one of my favorite things to do is happening next Sunday. It's the frog jumping contest. I've got a great pet frog, and I've been teaching him to hop when I say hop. Like this. Hop, froggy. But if we're going to win the contest, he's got to hop more than one time. Tell you what, you can help me train him. When I say hop, froggy, you count the number of times he hops. You ready? Here we go. Hop, froggy. How many times did he hop? 
How many times did he hop? The answer is two times. That's good, but it's not good enough to win. Let's try again. Hop, Froggy. How many times did he hop? He hopped three times. That's better, but it's still not enough. Let's try again. Hop, Froggy. How many times did he hop? That was four hops. Boy, oh boy, he's getting good. Let's try one more time. Hop, Froggy. How many times did he hop? Wowee! He hopped five times. I bet he's sure to win the frog jumping contest now. Don't you think? Howdy, partner. It's time for another make-believe adventure. This one happens at the Tumbleweed Championship Rodeo. I'm going to play the rodeo announcer, and you get to be the rider. So, button up your cowboy shirt, put on your vest, and pull on your boots. The first event is about to begin. All right, partner. The stands are filling with hands, and the spotlight is on shoot number one. That's where you are, and you're sitting astride one of the fiercest bulls on the rodeo circuit. His name is Fright Train, and if you don't watch out, he's going to run right over you. So get a good grip with your left hand. That's it. Now raise your right hand in the air and keep it there. Nod your head when you're ready. Well, all right, cowboy. Slide and ride. Get on out of that chute. Great change the bucking to the left. To keep your balance, you gotta stay another couple of seconds to get a score. That's the way. Keep your head down. Watch it now, he's turning on you. Better jump off and head for the sidelines. Oh, that was a hard landing. Uh-oh, watch out, cowboy. Here comes Freight Train again. Those horns are two foot long, so better keep moving. Phew, you made it. Now let's see what the judges have to say. A score of 68. Not bad, not bad at all. But it's no time to sit down now, partner. The second event is the calf roping contest. You've got to wrestle one of these doggies and then wrestle them to the ground. So let's see you twirl that lariat. That's it. Twirl it around your head in a circle real fast. Okay, partner. They're about ready now. Climb aboard your horse and keep them still. If you start before the calf gets loose, you'll be disqualified. So get ready. Get set. And there he goes. Get on out after him, cowboy. All right, you're staying close. Now make your move. Throw that lasso. Good one, you got him. Now jump off your horse and grab a hold of that cat. Watch it, he's the slippery one. Now rest one to the ground and turn him over. Way to go, partner. Okay, let that doggy up and I'll give you your time. 6.2 seconds. That's good enough to put you in the running for the championship. Good going, cowboy. Well, partner, the Tumbleweed Championship Rodeo is over for today. So long for now, cowboy, and happy trails. Boy, oh boy, we sure do have fun playing outdoors. You're the best partner a guy could ever have. If you want, you can turn my tape over now, and we can play outdoors some more. Just remember, I'll be talking to you. <laughs> and that's a fact. <laughs>